back when we started this channel, one of the key reasons of starting this channel was because I wanted to be, I wanted to showcase what it was like to be a real Christian. I'm, I'm, I've struggled just like anybody else. I go through so many ups and downs and I feel like too many people are the typical Sunday morning Christian where when you see them on Sunday, they're blessed and everything's going great. And you know, but behind the scenes, there's so much more going on to their life. And so I just, whenever we were doing this, I just wanted to be a real Christian. I wanted to be somebody who wasn't afraid to put their struggles out there. And I just, I literally making this video because I feel like lately I've been struggling. And one of the biggest things that I've been struggling with is look at our world, look at our community. The first phase, it was the coronavirus, where everybody is sent home, we're isolated, we're alone, things like that. We weren't gathering, nothing was really going on. Um, and that's hard for me because I'm, you know, I'm a people person. I like to talk to people. And then immediately follow that up with the racial issues that are happening with George Floyd and Black Lives Matter and all these things going on in the world. And it's just caused such a division, not to mention the political things, the sports, everything is just divided about unjust and racial issues that are happening in America. And it's been breaking my heart and it's been, it's been causing me to be sad. And then just to be somebody in the world today, you, you, you watch news and TV and it's all just filled with even more division and people just adding fuel to the fire versus having us come together. And it's just, and it put me in this spiral of, I just felt dry spiritually, mentally, physically. I just, I struggled with what are we gonna do? What are we doing as a country? I just felt out of place, out of element, you know? I can't, and I can't even go hang out with my friends to feel better about it, right? And um, so we've been doing some small things and I got together with a few friends, close friends, and. I was just telling them how I felt and they gave me some of the best advice. They told me, no matter what, just seek God through it. You know, continue to pray, read your Bible and just seek in Him. And, you know, as I began to do that, um, a few scriptures really popped out. One was Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord our God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And it just felt refreshing because I was never actually alone. God was always there. I was just, I had so many things and distractions going on in this world that like, kept me from seeing that. And I kept focusing on the problems and not turning to the solution, which is, you know, God our Savior. Another thing was in uh, Psalms 133.1. It says, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Well, with all this division going on in the world, that's what I needed. I wanted the body of Christ to see people as loving their neighbors and not, not loving their neighbors with exception unless you are black or unless you are white, unless you are Hispanic. There's no such thing as division. There was no caveats to the Great Commission to love your neighbor as yourself. It was just to love your neighbor. And so, and to see another scripture that talks about unity, that felt like is what we needed. And then another one was in 2 Corinthians 4, 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. And that was just it. That's what I was missing. I felt, you know, alone, divided. And the truth was, God was always there with me. And then he also told us, like, be together, be in unity. So I just decided I'm gonna be in unity no matter who is around me and I'm gonna spread the love of God through it all. And I'm gonna to continue to seek Him. That way I'm refreshed day by day. And I feel like that's really what I was missing out on, was just the refreshing part. I was, I was so caught up in the division that it, it literally made me miss God through it all and it made me just feel the divide that the media wants you to feel. And so, Put your faith and hope in Him and turn to God and just love your neighbor as yourself. If you start living the Word and being the Word that it says in the Bible, imagine what this world could be. So this is just an encouragement to each one of you, just to love your neighbor. 
don't, don't, don't give to the divide and don't feel so isolated because you were never truly alone. So this is just an encouragement to you out there. I just want you guys all to know I love you and I thank you for watching. My name is Josiah and this is Project Insight.